All right, guys, welcome back. Wash it up, pressure washing in uh, Staten Island, New York. I uh, just want to show you guys a little bit of the, uh, the trailer uh, plumbing setup right now. Okay, so we got the uh, five and a half gallon machine. We got the eight. Okay, both banded machines. So the five and a half is going to be fed by a one inch line. Okay. Okay, let's start over here. Okay, it's got a, a one inch bulkhead coming out with the shut off. Uh, that's a three quarter shut off and it goes into a one inch banjo cam lock. Okay, it goes in, got my filter, my banjo filter, straight into my, um, what do you call it, into my pressurizing line. If I want to use it just to uh, do a small job without bypassing the, um, the tank, I got that. And it goes right into my machine, okay? My, um, my eight gallon in a machine, right there, okay? That's inch and a half line. Okay, comes, goes in, loops around, goes into my big banjo strainer, right in once again with another cam lock directly into my IBC tote, okay? Those lines right there are my, um, my downstream injectors. I got them color-coded. There's two of them, one for each machine, and um, I just had that tube sitting there. Let me go right on the other side. Okay, got some shutoffs, and I have them just going in this tube right here. Okay, straight to the back. Okay, there's my dump line. I think that's a inch and a half or two inch. I think that's an inch and three quarter or two inch dump line. Okay, and like I said, set this down right here. Those are my drop sticks. Okay, color coded to each one of my machines. Okay, that is half inch PVC. The tube, the quarter inch tubing goes inside the half inch PVC. Got a little thing on the end of that. I don't know what's going on my phone right now. Sorry, guys. Okay, got a 90 degree elbow, and then there's a strainer at the end, and then the tubing goes straight through. Okay, and when you want it, I don't have it, I don't have it uh, open right now, but just take it. Throw it in okay, I'll show you. Dump it in your tank, and you're good to go. Okay, when you're done, take it out, drop it in my SH tank. I mean, my uh, my water tank. You're done. Put it back in the holder. Simple. No need for metering systems, all this other stuff. Yeah, that stuff's great. But you know what? For a simple guy that's just doing house washes, doing some light stuff, guys, this stuff is fine, okay? Get yourself an SH tank, get yourself a water tank, downstream, downstream your SH, put your soap right in your, right in your tank. You only need about, let's say, eight ounces for, the, for this 65-gallon, what do you call it, right probably not even that much, okay? Drop it right in, okay? Um, pretty simple. Up there... You guys know what that is. I got my two, two Hudson float valves up top with my banjo three-way strainer, three-way three ball valve. Um, this one over here is set up all the way to the top. So if I want to I have a big job, I right here, I put this, I put my strainer, my three-way ball valve this way, okay? Water runs through this way, goes through that, uh, through that Hudson float valve. And that's going to give me about 275 gallons, okay, in my IBC tote. If I got a smaller job, just one running one machine, okay, that one over there goes, I have it down with a drop stick. It goes down to the middle of my tank. It probably gives me around 150. Um, we tried to measure it up where it's right around the 150 mark. So it's, that's like I said, that's got a drop stick that goes down to the bottom. If I want that one, I leave it open and we go to the 150 mark. Simple. Okay. Everything else is all uh, is all done. I was just waiting on that one, that one cam lock. It finally came today. Okay, guys. So two machines. Got my storage over here. Okay. 
Okay, it's gonna fit a couple gallon jugs. Got my sign, I gotta, just gotta get a bungee strap for that so it doesn't fall off. Um, everything else secured. I got my slug sucker right there. Buckets with miscellaneous. And here is the, the detailed look at the, uh, the brackets, guys, for the surface cleaner. Okay. These pins come out. Okay, like I said, each, each surface cleaner, I have a whisper wash and I have a hammerhead. So each surface cleaner has three brackets. Two that lock, one that just sits. Okay, so this is the one that locks. Okay, that sits in there like that. When you're done, put the plate back down. Put your pin back in, move on, okay? That's the one that sits in. And there's another one that locks over here, okay? Guys, these things aren't going anywhere. They're not moving left to right, nothing. Okay, same thing with my whisper wash, okay? Top one gets locked in, okay? This bottom one sits, and this one up top. Let me show you once again, okay? That one's a little different, okay? Guys, these things are stabilized to go left and right and stabilized to go in and out. So they're not going anywhere, guys, okay? Yeah, I get it. You know, you have the bigger trailers, you can put the stuff in there or you can put it in the back of your pickup. I get it. Um, I didn't want to do that anymore. You do it the right way. You put the brackets the right way. You make the brackets the right way. Um, I got a metalwork guy who did all these brackets for me. And it took him probably a week to mock this whole thing up and figure it all out and do it the right way. Um, believe me, look, these things are not going anywhere, okay? All right. Um, what else? That's pretty much it. Hope you guys are staying safe out there. Um, we haven't even begun to work yet because of the whole coronavirus thing. I get it. Uh, it sucks for everybody. Hope everybody stays safe, healthy. Um, but, yeah, that's pretty much... Uh, that's pretty much where we're at. So as soon as we get this thing out of the garage, we start, you know, we testing it and stuff like that. I'll get you guys another video. But uh, that's pretty much all I can give you guys right now. And um, that's it, guys. Stay safe and have a good year, right?